Do you think it's going to start? I mean, everything's ready. We got coolant, we got oil, we got our steam fluid. Man, this doesn't work. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode. We are here at the Nurburg Ring. I'm gonna be driving on the track. I'm super excited. Didn't even see that guy. He came out of nowhere. Uh oh, you're in trouble. All right, everybody. So right now, we're gonna start putting fluids in this thing. And what you need to do is you need some coolant. Um, I have three liters of coolant. I should have bought four liters of coolant or four and a half liters. And you mix it half and half with coolant to water. Um, it's 50-50 mix. And then you'll need to run your um, water pump, which I'll show you guys how to do in a second. We have to hook up the battery for that. And then I'm gonna fill up our uh, power steering fluid, make sure there's no leaks. I need to tighten up that bottom line. And then we're gonna fill it with six and a half liters of oil. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Let's do the coolant. What we're gonna do is open the cap up. We're gonna open the cap up and we're gonna undo this, this uh, little valve here. So this valve, um, it's like a bleeder screw. You don't have to undo it all the way, just like that. And now we're gonna put in our coolant and water. So you should pre-mix this. I don't know if I have anything here to mix it with. So luckily I have one of these, uh, what do you call them? Uh, windshield washer cleaner bottles. So I'm just gonna clean this out with water a few times. Pour it back in here and then I'll be ready to mix. So you do want a 50-50 mix of coolant, but your coolant system takes about eight liters. So I'm down a little bit of coolant. Um, so maybe I'll use a bit of the stuff from before. It looked brand new, nice and clean to fill the rest. And this is just some distilled water five liters of distilled water. That's one and a half liters. How big is this jug? Five liters. So maybe I'll just fill this up with water and pour it in. I don't have exact measurements. All right, that actually looks really dark, but let's just pour it in. All right, a little floaty thing popped up. That's good, but... No leaks yet, that's great. Let's do this again. So I filled it up, um, as you can see it's at its max. It's kind of bubbling a bit here and there, so I'm assuming it's, you know, just getting into all the crevices. What you can do is just push on some of the hoses, but um, I think I need to lower the car down in order to get all the air pockets out because we are still on jack stands here, so 
I'm gonna try the procedure for bleeding the car anyway, and uh, we'll see what happens. And I'll show you guys what to do. Because if you look, I mean, this is still higher than this, so it should still bleed. Um, should still bleed everything, but uh, yeah, it may take some time. Because I only got, I didn't get a full eight liters in there yet, so. All right, well, I'll show you guys the process. So first things first, we actually want to put this on a battery charger. <clears throat> here's your positive. And here's your ground. Let's see what it does. It's just going to run through some tests and then start charging. All right, now that the this is full, we're going to run the water pump. Well, first check for leaks. I don't see any leaks. Um, we're gonna run the water pump now. So, grab your key. Grab your key and get in the car. What we wanna do is not start the car, just put it in. And then, we're gonna turn the ignition on. Let it do all that stuff. So we're gonna put the temperature all the way up and we're gonna put it on its lowest setting just like that. Just on uh, the lowest setting on high. And then we're gonna press the gas pedal for about 10 seconds. And then this will activate the water pump. And the water pump should cycle on and off and on and off. So already I can hear it. Can you hear that guys? I can hear it going through the pipes. Just gonna grab a bucket. And it's gonna do that for about 10 minutes. So just keep this plugged in and, whoa. So I definitely put way too much in, my bad. At least it's going straight into the bucket. Maybe I put in too much, I don't know. So now we're gonna wait about 12 minutes for this to cycle on and off, on and off, on and off, and uh, bleed out all the air out of the water pump. Then we're gonna check the, um, check the level and add more if we need to, probably not. Um, so now let's just move on to putting in some oil. All right. I'm gonna put some fresh oil in. It's a little nerve wracking. Um, actually, I need to fill this up first. This is a five liter jug. I have some fresh oil right here. Actually, what kind of oil is this? Zero W40. Hmm. So I'm just gonna pour a liter down in here. Don't actually know if it's gonna do anything. Um, I just thought maybe, uh, you know, before I crank the engine without the fuel going, this just may help circulate stuff a bit easier. So, I don't know, or maybe it doesn't matter at all. It all goes to the same place anyway, right? But, um, might as well try it. All right, now that we have six and a half liters in it, we're gonna tighten down wherever my tool is. I'm gonna tighten this down. If you guys need this kind of tools, I'll put a link in the description. This is just a 3 8 
um, adapter, quarter inch, three eighths adapter, uh, little tool here, and we're in. So it's been about five minutes. I just checked this. Um, I don't know why it's coming out of here when it's actually low, maybe because I have the cap open, but I was gonna top it up. Maybe I shouldn't do that just yet. But just for now, I wanna put some more uh, hydraulic fluid in the steering. And the fluid went down a little bit. Let's put some more in. So you will do this when the car is um, started, of course. But I just want to make sure there's some fluid in the system before we get started. All right, didn't go down that much that time. I'm just gonna gently close that. Uh, we're gonna figure out which fuse is the power, not power steering pump, the fuel pump. And it's there, number 35. Number 35 is in the middle there. So one bank, two bank in the middle. Uh, I can't get at it with this. On my car, this will be different for everybody's car. So mine is right there in the middle. So I was gonna grab it with the, the pliers. They also have this little tool here, this guy. Maybe I can grab it with this. And I did. So I grabbed the wrong one. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to prime the car. So what that means is hopefully it doesn't start. We pulled the the fuse for the fuel pump. We want to cycle the key twice. Sorry, cycle the ignition twice. Just so that um, the Valvetronic motor learns its uh, learns its extremes. I don't know what the other word is for it. It learns uh, how far it can go. Hopefully this, this is not supposed to start. Oh no, the clutch does not feel right. Okay, we're just gonna prime this. I mean, it's not in gear, so nothing's gonna happen. But let's hope it just primes. No, I did not want it to start. No, God, please, no, no! Thought I pulled the fuse. Isn't that a good thing? No. Okay, maybe I'll just crank it a few times, like that. Oh, whoa, Bob, there's so much smoke coming up the back. Ew. See? Okay, so maybe I did pull the fuse. Think it's gonna start? I mean, everything's ready. We got, we got coolant, we got oil, we got power steering fluid. Do it! We led the. Just do it! Man, this yes, doesn't work. You said tomorrow. Okay, take two. Just do it! What? Just! Did anything happen? No. Do it! Yes, you can! Just do it! We got it's success! At least I think we did it.
Oh, smoking, smoking a lot. Smoking out the back a lot. I mean, a little bit of smoke, that's not bad. I think it's okay. Okay. Why is this smoking? It's normal. Don't worry, boys. We're equipped. Okay, so while we're doing this, I think I'm gonna bleed the power steering. Just gonna keep that there. This is what worries me. It smells like water, which means it's a gasket failure. Well guys, did I just fail? Did I not do this right? I'm kind of pissed right now, so. I'm gonna let it idle and just see if this goes away. It smells like water. It doesn't really smell like coolant though. What do you guys think? Is this a head gasket problem? Let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna just let this idle and see what happens. If any of this information has been helpful for you guys, um, you know, drop a like, uh, you know, hit the thumbs up button. Uh, it cost me a lot to repair it and maybe we did something wrong. This sucks. So tune in for the next episode to see what happened. Thanks for watching.